Hey, what's up guys? This is Steel Rain and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at some parallel boards here. And I know guys, ooh, you know, ooh, parallel boards, you know, most sexiest thing in our hobby. But uh, I'll go ahead and tell you guys why I'm pretty passionate about this. So the parallel board in question we're going to be looking at today is going to be the new Strix Joshua Bardwell version 2 board. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get into it. So I'll tell you guys right now. I was one of the critics of Joshua Joshua's Bardwell's first version one board because as you can see on this board it has polyfuses. Now the reason why I was a critic is because if you accidentally plug in your balance uh, battery balance lead taps here backwards, which is relatively easy to do, it would fry the board or fry your battery. So you know not not the best thing. I, I let him know on his first version one uh, video. And, you know, this is what's come from it, which is excellent. So, personally, I think this is going to be one of the best boards for parallel charging our FBV mini quads. Now, will it, will it replace all of my boards? I don't think so because I have 6S batteries and 5S batteries and things like that where this board is specifically made for just a 4S, you know, batteries. But what's good about it is that it has... 10 ports here so you could get basically I could with one of my eye chargers I could charge 10 1500 milliamp batteries at 30 amps which is a 2c rate I mean that's pretty much within a half hour it's going to get everything done and you know things like that so it'll get you out the door and flying quicker instead of worrying about charging now pretty much what I've used up to this date has been this board here and as you can see, it's got the poly fuses down here, resettable poly fuses, and individual fuses in between here, as well as one right here. And I'll tell you why I'm pretty passionate about this, guys, and I'll include a, a picture. My original boards were like this. And as you can see, there's no fuses anywhere, not on the main leads or the balance leads. And to tell you guys the story, basically what happened... I was charging two batteries at about eight amps, and um, these wires inside inside of this uh, board that were soldered onto the printed circuit board came loose during a charging cycle, touched each other, causing a short, which instantly shut the char charge cycle down. And luckily, I was in the room when this happened. And what basically happened was then the batteries were back feeding back into the board, creating the dead short. And as you guys could see in the picture I'm going to flash up on the screen, it basically started a fire and melted the traces because the batteries were now causing the fuel. There was no fuse to stop it. If there was a fuse anywhere on the board, it would have stopped the fire instantly. So basically I had to unplug it real quick, get it out of my garage before it burnt down because it instantly started a fire. So that's why don't ever use a board like this. Always use something that's got fuses, and why we're going to be looking at the jo the Joshua Bardwell version two Strix board today. He's got fuses on both the main uh, discharge leads and the resettable poly fuses here. Now I've seen guys already complain on his video that there's no real way to tell if these are tripped or not, besides feeling for heat. There's thermal tape, and there's also uh, thermal LCD stuff you could get, double-sided sticky tape and thermal LCD stuff. You could stick to these if that's really your issue, kind of like this board here has, uh, which is right here. It'll change colors if one of the, um, one of the, the fuses trip here. So we'll go ahead and start looking into this board, and I'll tell you right now, being a battery nerd like myself, I started really looking into this board and basically disassembled it as soon as I got it. So we'll look at some of the features here. Of course, it's you know supports 10 batteries. And what I like about this board here too is that it's got a uh, battery checker. So you just plug your battery in down over here. And as you can see, it starts telling you your cell, your cell voltages one by one. 
and then at the end it tells you the complete voltage. Pretty cool feature there. So we'll disconnect that and we'll go ahead and go in look into the build of this board. So I could tell from the outside so far everything's built pretty well but it's the really attention to details so what I did is I pulled out the six screws and basically pulled this board apart to look down here. Now like I was mentioning before on this cheap board here these two wires right here that come into the printed circuit board heated up one of them broke loose from the solder joint here they touched and without the fuses any sort of built-in fuse the battery caused the fire to fuel the fire and basically melted these traces and erupted in fire in my garage so luckily I was there to witness it and take care of it if I wasn't my whole house would have burnt down so what I first did and as the attention to details with boards like this I looked at all the solder joints pretty hardy pretty good didn't see you know in between uh, the balance tap solder joints here I don't see any slop in the solder joints all pretty solid don't see any issues here now the extra features and the attention to detail is things like this this foam board here that even if something were to somehow break loose flip that over the way it goes it's gonna pretty much hold what it's got very well right there as you can see it sandwiches it in pretty well another attention to detail they saw they uh, used a zip tie here to keep these in check and I think the most I might do is add some hot glue right in this area here to uh, maybe give it a little extra strain relief in case something does somehow break loose but I don't think it's gonna happen with this zip tie here and how thick they put the solder So you know nice nice attention to detail really nice looking board and for 25 bucks you know boards like this are the same price but you only get four batteries here whereas this one you have 10 and uh, so you know just just little details including these tiny little plastic washers so basically once that goes on there this foam pad goes there these plastic washers go on top of these brass fittings there to isolate the board once everything is plugged in and everything so you know really fine detail and uh, go ahead and show you guys how this thing is set up so if you preferably if you have a charger that could put, push out a massive amount of watts and amps I'll show you what's how this thing is best used for alright guys now I got my first charging setup I ever bought set up and it's because I used to fly um, you know big AP multi rotors 6s and also big 6s uh, 3d planes so personally this is what I think is going to be the perfect setup for somebody using this board not saying this board couldn't be used you know at, at lower charging cycles to charge more batteries but for me my eye charger right here pumps out a, a thousand watts and 30 amps which does mean that I can plug in 10 batteries 10 1500 milliamp 4s batteries and pump 30 amps into it and charge them at 2c which I believe is going to be perfect it'll get me out the door with 10 batteries within approximately about 30 minutes and I'm still getting good use out of this old charger now there's new ISDT chargers that do the same thousand watts and they could pump out 30 amps as well for roughly about a hundred bucks um, you know but the only downside to a system like this is that it's I'm basically having to use uh, computer power servers to power chargers like this they're DC chargers only so Personally, this is the board I think is perfect for this sort of setup. I'm going to be using it also as well on my other setups, but you know, my other setup, it, it's a four channel uh, CQ3 from uh, EV Peak, and it only pumps out 100 watts a channel, so I might be able to get 10 batteries at a half a C or 1C charge rate. So, this board to me, you know, in conjunction with using that one, is going to be perfect. So, you know, big thumbs up to ReadyMade RC, Strix, and Joshua Bardwell for, um, you know, 
going ahead and, and doing this V2 board, putting the poly fuses on there, which was my main gripe about the last board. And I personally think for the FBV community running 4S batteries, this is the best option out there available. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. Um, go ahead and uh, subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video and share. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the normal place below. I'll see you guys on the next one.